Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Transport Fever. Here we are, back in our little world here. We need to give it a name at some point. I think on our... On the um, title below, I'm calling it Stapleford for the um, series title. So yeah, welcome back to Stapleford for episode 2 of our Transport Fever little series. So in the last... In the last episode, we set up some truck trucking routes, carrying stone and food around, and we got a bit of our town squaring. So where we left off last time, we've got these populations here for our cities, and the aim is to try and get them all to at least 750 and have them all joined together. So we will continue on with this episode and see where we get going with it. So what I'm thinking is, we just. Ooh, try and use trains in this episode. And I taught you how to use the tracks in the last one. So if we do trains in this one, then we'll see where we get to from there. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna get these two fuel stops up here, run a train line over to here. The truck maybe to run a bit of oil in and then we can deliver that over here. Uh, what else do we need down here? It's some spanners. What else needs span? Oh no. Or do we? Ooh. Yep. So first things first. Before we do the oil, sorry. We're going to do over here with some spanners because that way we can do both these towns and get them both growing, which would be nice. So where do we start? I think it's going to be a quick, another quick truck line in. Because that would be a nice and easy one to get done with trucks. So we can use the roads that already exist, like last time, so we put that down, down in size. Yeah, that can come in over there. Over here, we'll just rotate this one around. Lovely. And then we'll just do one of these over here. So what we can do here, we have one line that starts from the from the log place, delivers it over to the sawmill, and then on the return journey carries the planks over to here. So we'll have this do full load. And then because it takes two logs here to make one lot of planks. So if I bring over, say, ten logs here, that'll make five lots of planks. So there's no point making the truck wait for full load here. So it'll, it'll bring the ten over and then the five back over there or whatever it is that they transport. I'll just pop up one of these depots in over here. Put it on the other side of this junk here to make a nice little crossroad. There we go. And then what we need is different cargo ones, and these do carry all cargo. I think they're the best ones for it. Yeah, these are the best ones. So I'll put three for this route. I'm going to colour them to brown, because that's what I've been doing with all my trucks so far. Put a line one. And then while this is going, we can quickly zoom in. Whoop, whoop. Zoomed in too much. There we go. And off they all go. Quickly rename this line. So this is Clevedon. Logs slash planks. Happy days. Then up over here, I put another truck stop in. We'll have two station, one each side. I'll just pop that in over here. Well, that seems expensive. The cheaper this side. Nope. Oh, it must be because I've got the second platform on there. That will go onto there. We'll put one in over here where the spanners are. So that can go there. And then we'll do one over in Rushton. There we go, that should cover all the spanners there. We'll do a new line. And we'll do... From over here. 
do Clefton, we'll do Kingsway, we'll do full load, and put that down at 90 seconds. Oh, 90, there we go, no, there we go, that's 90 eventually. And we will rename the line to Clefton Spanners. Nice. I then buy two trucks. Clever colour them to the green so they can match the line. And there we go. Clevered in spanners. Off they go. And then the next line will be from here. From Clevered in sidings. All the way out to to Rushton. Again we'll do full load. 90 seconds. Buy some trucks. We get three for this one. Add a third one. Colour them in nice dark blue. Put them onto line one. And then we will rename line one to be Rushton uh, Spanners from Clifton. There we go. Now we know what's going on everywhere. We have a quick check to see how our lines are holding up. We've got a few logs waiting here. And the truck is still all the way down over here. So we can manage these vehicles, hit the clone without taking any, so we clone them all. Get another three trucks on there. There we go. So that should have all of them running. What I'm going to do now, before we move on to our next bit, so I click on here, it tells us how all our lines are doing. So we have a few of them making money. Obviously, these ones down here won't be making much money yet. The um, logs and planks is making a bit of money because it's already delivered off the first lot of logs. But the both spanners, they haven't had a chance yet, so they're both losing money, which is fair enough. And our budget soldiers and food. It's just turned as a profit, so that's all right. That's um making us making us a little bit of money, so we are getting on. We are progressing. So I am still looking for some of that I think would work nicely to put a train line in. And it's not easy because an awful lot of these ones we're only carrying small quantities of stuff, so we don't need to have a whole big train for it. Um, so it's sort of working at the moment, but oh, I think what's it over here? Look at that! I'll oh, double the trucks on this line. They appear to be struggling to, to maintain. So we'll just do that. There we go. So yes, they're doing a train on a short route like this one down here. It just wouldn't make sense because as soon as you leave the station, you're going to the next one and taking so long. The so trucks work well on routes like this. But if we were carrying goods a longer distance, then it would it would make sense for us to do it that way. But looking at this, like, there's not many places that you need to carry goods long distances. And over here, like over here, most of these are covered, so that's all right. And then down here, most of these resources are covered by places nearby too. So I could use this just to bring oil over to the refinery here and then truck it out or maybe do a train across into here. It would be nice if we had another one so we could take it down one way and then have a train line running back the other way with it. So what other resource does Clevedon need? Oh that needs bricks which can just be done down here again. Hmm. We don't have too much money, we are losing quite a lot of money at the moment. So I'm going to speed things up. Just let things move along. As soon as this route here starts bedding in, it should start making us plenty of money on this on the spanner route. So what else do we need over here? Some flames. Yeah. We've still got a lot waiting up over here. I might put another couple of trucks under this route. So if we manage it, and if we take on one of these, I'm going to add. Oh, we haven't got enough money, so 
I won't do that then. I could take a loan out, but I think what we need to do is let things run and hopefully these will start making us money again. So this is hopefully going to make us money soon because it's got a lot of food on there. Must just be the way that the roots, where, where they were all sort of clumping up or something. And there we go, a bit of money back there. That's making us a bit of money. Yeah, we're still waiting on our spanners to make us money. Oop, uh, there we go, that's made, what's making us a nice bit of money. I'd like these to start making us a bit more. The trouble is we're doing such short distances all the time. It's not having enough time to make, to make money. Because obviously the further you carry your goods and the quicker you carry them over that distance, the more money you'll make on it. So these short distances like this don't make us that much money, unfortunately. Because if you come down here and wait and see how much one, say, one's full here, it comes, how much will this truck make when he comes in here? So he comes back and he's got a 17 log and he makes 38 grand, which isn't a huge amount of money. Luckily he's doing it fairly quickly, so we've got another one coming in, so that's another, which hopefully be another 38 grand from this one. Yep, from the 38, there we go. And then he's carrying over, um, he's got six planks on, on board. If you follow him up over here, let's see how much he makes when he arrives. Up at the, up, up at the um, tool factory. So he's going to come in down here. You can see he's already used up an awful lot of his money. So he gets us 14,000 for that. It's making a bit of money, but not. they're not making a lot of money on that route. Total, so it's totally with the six trucks. It's just under 400. Our spanners are still losing us money, but hopefully they will start. Now that the, the trucks bringing the wood in are sort of bedding in and that will start getting better so we are we are making a little bit of money yeah there's a lot of logs waking up here I've got one point well one and a half million now let's see how many more we can put in oh we've got four more so we've got ten trucks in now oh dear there you go. The loan interest just kicked in and it's losing us money now. Well, we're down in there. Oh, there we go, back up. That's why it's always worth repaying the loan if you don't need it. Yeah, so so far only one year have made made any profit. And that's because we didn't do anything in that one. Okay, so Russian Spanish is getting a bit of a backing up. Uh, when we get enough money, I'll put I'll, I'll put one more truck onto there. Hopefully, them Rushton truck Rushton Rush, Rush Spanners should now start making us some money. There you go, there's 160 on there. So as that's, that's only going to get higher the more they start running. Uh, Clemson Spanners, because it's a small town, is always going to be a bit tricky. Similarly with Bud and Salted Food, this is not really enough in there to start making us money. So how much fuel does it need over here? Yeah, I'm going to do a fuel train coming in over here. So... Is there... There's not oil over here. So I'm going to do a train that runs the whole way through here. So this is going to be a, a lot of taking loans out. It's probably a risky thing to do at this point. So I'm going to want to have one line and it's going to come out this way and around. So if I look in here, where is where is all the oil and stuff? So it's mostly over this side. How is it going to look if I try and pop in one of these over here? Oh, so another tip. So if you hold down Shift, I think it is, and M and N, it does teeny tiny movement. If you don't hold Shift down, it's big steps. But there we go. So little steps. I can line it up with um, the road here to try and save us money. So if that comes in, say, say there, that's ticking off an awful lot of the flame. 
trying to shimmy it down, shimmy it down a bit, shimmy, 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 little bit, little bit, little bit by little bit. Oh, so we only get the one building being destroyed. It's going to be very expensive. This putting it in, just having a nice central train station should totally deliver an awful lot of stuff, and I could then double it up with passengers and stuff here at a later date. So I'll plonk him in there. That's good. So, we've got a lot of spanners and you go and rush them. So we're going to pause the game now. We're going to do this all in pause. Come in here and we're going to borrow so all the way back up to 30. Well, that will do for now. We'll borrow more in a moment. So first things first, we'll put two more trucks on here. There we go. Yeah, that's making some makers money, so that's a nice place to put it. That's all good. And then over here, I'm going to put in another train station. We use this one so the train can go through from one side to the other. Now what I'm going to do is position it about here, I think. Because this way, I'm going to put some road in. So the street is going to come across. How do you do it with country road? Now I can come across over to there. So now, hopefully, this station is connecting to this one over here. Then, if I can figure this line, I'm going to put another run of tracks up this side. And a platform. And then take another cargo building. It's a nice little one. Pop it over this side. Come out of there. And then we get the road and connect from here over to there. And now it's got the connection between the two. This way, when I can bring one train in, it'll stop, deliver the oil to over here, with the crude oil to make some oil. I'll then run a truck from over here to over here, which will then make the fuel, which will then come back to the station and it'll help a train up to here. So over here, hmm. I'm gonna try doing similar again over here. I run a road from the back off over there. Yep, and from the back of over here, so it's connecting the bows. There we go. And then if I get a get the train station back. Oh we can take this down, so we're not we're not going to have cantonaries. No, we're going to use cantonaries. Oh, it's difficult, you know. Uh, we have the, the, the cantonaries. Track type, high speed, track setting. Yeah. So we keep the cantonaries on us, but... No, we'll turn them off. We'll turn them off. We're going to save, save every bit of money. We're in hard mode. It does take us a lot more money than we were expecting to do this. So if I position, say, this between these two, something like that I come in here and I can use to go configure again so I pop in okay we're going to have to do a bit of deleting in a second maybe so I pop in that up the end there that there and if I click on here hopefully that's got that one and then when I move this See. There we go. That's now got both of them. So they both got the oil. So the oil will come from both of those over to here. So we just now build our tracks going over. So the, it's set the um, number in the black circle. That is the speed limit for the train line. Oopsie.
Um, so that's how fast the trains will go around those corners. On, the, on these standard lines, the maximum speed for a train is 120. So there we go. Yeah. So that's right. Yeah. But on a high speed line, which you can see down the bottom um, here, that has a higher speed of um, 300. You can raise it up a little bit. So when we come to do bridges, like this one over here, when you see, if you look in the middle, you can see it's got all these yellow lines, all these yellow boxes. So this means trains, or not the trains, boats can't pass underneath. So if we push N, the bridge goes down lower. We're well, supposed to come past. Push M, the bridge in the middle will go up, 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 up. And now we can see the green is going through the middle here. So this means we can have um, boats passing underneath. Also, if we click on here, we can change our bridge design to a high speed of 120 or well, 180 for that one, or 300 if they go for the concrete bridge. But these do start costing a lot more. So it's 300 grand for that one, 430, and 550 for the concrete one. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to go. So I do like. The concrete one, I think it looks nice, but it is a lot more than the stone one. Maybe we'll just have to, we'll, we'll go in the middle and go, we'll go with that one. I don't think on this map we're ever really going to get trains travelling more than 180. I doubt we'll even really start upgrading it to um to high speed at any point, so it's all. So now it's if we try and get our line across this way. So as we're coming through, we're trying to keep the speed up, but also keep the earthworks to minimal. So this is going to cost a lot because it's building up on a bank. If I can lower it down a bit, we can see the price get a bit cheaper. And then just do a smaller section across there. Lovely. And then here, could we digging in? If we can try and lift it up a bit. Nope. Okay, we go a bit smaller. There we go. We're just trying to run this up through the valley to the train station over here. So let's keep 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 this going on up. Oop. I think it's climbing up quite a, quite a bit up the edge of the up edge of the valley there. So it's, it's becoming difficult to keep it at a decent price. There we go, not too much through there. Ooh. As we have to go around this, it is going to have to dig in a bit so that can start getting more expensive. I'm going to back it up a little bit from here. So we get a bit of our money back when we delete like that, and we make a heck of a lot of noise. So that I can just start turning it that way already. There we go. And it will just sneak through there. It's getting expensive in the big bit of earthwork, but it was definitely. Not as bad as it could be. Oop. I've been tapping right around with too many buttons, just getting difficult to know where it is. And then, there we go. I think we're through the worst of it now. I mean, we're still climbing, because I'm still. It's still digging in as we're coming up through here. So it's looking like a nice, a nice line so far, nice and scenic, and to hopefully have a few uses. And can we connect that one in over here? Can I do that any cheaper if I do it in a couple of little bites? That's a hundred. It's fractionally cheaper doing it that way. Now this is going to be the the hard bit bringing the train out of up here. 
So from here, yeah, I'm going to delete this load section here. And I'm going to configure this station to put a tracks down both sides. So you get tracks. Then we could go back to putting um putting the train lines in. I don't mind that it's not 120 up here, because we're gonna do a lot of wiggling around. And it's just coming out of the station, so it's so it's not gonna be moving too quickly. So I'm gonna try and aim to get it through here next to the road. So I'm gonna zoom in and have a have a look at how, how the topography lies of this area. Right, so that's actually quite a climb up that way, which is gonna make this very difficult. Hmm. Which probably means, I'm gonna put it on a sapling on a little bank going up around here. Um, so, so that's a bit cheap to use a bridge through there. So if I go to there, I need to keep it. So we leave that on the cheap bridge for now. Now we can come through the tunnel there. Yeah, we've only got the one tunnel design. Is there any option we have to? And then coming down this side, what's going on here? Oh yeah, we're off a steep edge over here. So we take it back a little bit. There we go. ideal way to do it, have it sort of crossing the road like that. But and the other option is say cross this way a little bit. Hmm. I think that's about as fast as I can do it. I mean, it's, a mix, it's a mix of trying to get the speed up and the money down. So the more this way, like, oh, it's getting expensive. So at least this way, like. Can I get it any faster around the corners? There we go, I think about as quick as we can do it. So. Okay, so we have managed to get our way, our way through there. 
I think that's worked all right. And now it's just heading over to here. And then into the station. I'm just going to join these two together over here for now. So one, um, one of these can do for both of our both of our routes. Um, I'll have it facing off over this way to start off with. Then we're going to use that little fine angling kit lined up there and then just join it in there we go so much like with trucks what we have to do now is make a line so we go new line we're going to come from over here from Brombra down to here it'll be full load at this stop so that's the same old same thing to do so we're just going to do, um, what's it, rename the line uh, from, br, from, oh that's not what I want you to do, I'll rename that properly, so, so from B, how do I spell from br, that's If I got rid of that, so I've deleted the line, which isn't what I was intending to do. So we give that another go. So we go from up here in Brombra down to here. Quickly do full load. So then we'll rename it to Brom Brombra Brombra Crew to. Cleverton. Ah. To Cleverton oil. So there we go. Now what we do is get a train on there. So this is going to be the exp a really, really expensive bit. When you look through here, because I took the um, cantonaries off to save us a bit of money, we can't use electric trains. We could use steam. Or we could use diesel. We've got a couple of options here. We've got, we've got the, well, these three options for diesel trains. In here it tells us how much it costs, how much the running cost is. So that's already more money we have just for the train before we put any wagons in. And a running cost of nearly a million. And then we have its top speed, which is fine. That's the speed we're going to be running our line at. And our power and tractive effort. So this is sort of what we need to look at in here. So this is a lot lower, but it's got still quite a lot of tractive effort. But it's slow, but it is a heck of a lot cheaper. It's half the running cost and almost half the build cost. And this one here, we have a nice powerful train, but he is very expensive. He's probably not what we need now. I'm going to be using this one because it's nice and cheap. So we then click add and it comes out here. We can start seeing our train forming in the yard. Wagons, we need cargo. We need to have a look through here and see what we have. Because we're transporting oil, we're going to need a tanker. So we have an option of a tank car, which carries 9, maximum speed 80, which is fine, we only do 90 anyway. Or we've got this one here, which is max speed 120. But this costs 180 to run, this costs 700, so it's about 100 grand a wagon cheaper. Which, seeing as it's less than double the capacity. Um, I'm going to go for this one, it's just the lower, the lower input cost is what I want for now. Oh, I've done that wrong, haven't I? I want to sell that. I want to get this. So it's not buy now. You've got to click add. So you get one, two, and add it onto the train. It gets long enough. So we now have a train of um, it's 89 meters. Our platform's 160 with a capacity of 81. The other thing to note is if we look down here, we've got our power. 
Um, and it tells you how fast the train's going to be going at certain speeds. So, that's what you And it tells you, it tells you we're at a good position. So if you keep adding a couple more on, there we go, it goes down to mediocre now. So I'm going to get rid of one of the two of those. I have to borrow a bit more money. So if we borrow, all the way to the 30. There we go, 30 and a half. Click back in here. Let me go buy that train. Now this is going to go onto that one there. So I'm going to select the purple. And I'm going to put it onto that line there. And we're going to take them off that. Stop the game being paused. And we are going to watch over here. And here comes the train in a nice fetching curve. Lovely. Now purple carriages, the purple wagons do look a bit mental, but I sort of like it. Oh no, I left the Cantonaries on. Ah, I wish to turn them on. Oh well. Well, when we upgrade to electric, electric trains, which I'm sure we will at some point, that will just become much more useful. Quickly repay, repay that. Then we have a quick look over here and see how much crude oil is already waiting for us. So we're already at 26. Okay, so it's going to go up fairly quick. There are two, two places for that. So what I'm going to do now is quickly link one of these over to the other. Uh, oh yeah, if I come back in here, what I will do is change this so we can load at Brombra crude only, none of the other two, and then up here, load do nothing at all. I don't really want it sort of moving crude and uh, fuel and stuff around over places that I don't really want it. I'm going to put one truck stop in over here. We're going to borrow. Take a million back. I'm just going to get this quickly set up for um, for transferring the refined oil over. There we go. That can go into there. over here and now we need to get a quick road over here. So I'm going to go push the page up. No, page up again. That's not the one is it? That's City Skylines. It's um the left hand button where it is. That's gone down. Oh there we go. And then we have a bridge coming across here, if we put it in... I need to change that quickly to one of these bridges. And then that can go over here. Yep. Yeah, nice and short, that will go back to the, there. And then... Oh. And up and over there. So this is going to be... A little oil line. Hmm going to pop a little connection straight over there just so the trucks can get from over here to there so we're going to have to put a second a second what's it called again a, a second truck depot in so this is going to go 
full load any, but it's only going to have. So it won't do that one. 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 Won't. Won't do that one. Won't do that one. Won't do that one. And won't do that. Because it's only going to be taking the refined oil over. So there we go. And then on the return. Um, there we go. Yeah, just leave it. Leave empty. There we go. Oh, sorry. So we go from there over to over to there. Yeah, that's still right. That's all good. I'm just quickly rename that to Cleverton Refined Oil or well, Cleverton Oil. There we go. So how's our train doing? It's probably over here. It's nearly full. It's lost us half a million so far. So then over here, we'll put another train in. And he's going to come from over here, from Cleverton, all the way up to our station, up here. And you can go full load of any. And again, we're just going to get rid of all of these. Apart from the fuel, because that's what we want him dropping off up here. Okay, so happy days. I'm going to see if I can then just do a quick line. Wait a minute. That's not right. That's not right at all, is it? From down here, just join them on over here so that the train can just come out of, out of here and across. So, and if you borrow some more money. Have another seven sort of so he saves up. Oh yeah. So this is this line and we'll just drop that down to to the 90 second. Oh no. Three minutes. It's this one, isn't it? So full load any maximum 90. So we're gonna buy one of the, buy the same engine again. And we're gonna put on some tanker wagons. It only has to be half the size because of the way it works. We're taking two two crew to make one oil. So we'll buy that one. We'll colour him into um, to make the line. Um, I just, there we go, line one. I didn't rename it, did I? So you can go into line one, and then I'll open up this again. Line one. We'll rename it. To Rushton, Rushton Fuel from Cleverden. I do like that for trains, so there's a slightly different sort of technique with it. So that one's coming out. So this train's already on its way. There's much waiting here. Nothing waiting there yet. <laughs> Let's see how this train is getting on. If we ride on board, we can just see. Oh dear, that's noisy, isn't it? Oh, very noisy. Got to turn them down a bit. We can just watch ourselves cruise through the landscape and up into the hills. Now this train needs to make us a lot of money. So we've invested a lot into this train line and invested a lot into our two trains. I think I spotted the problem. He hasn't loaded any more since we looked last time. Which means I have disconnected this from over here. 
How did that happen? Oh, there we go. That's got it back again. Whew. When I put that bridge in, it curved the end of this road and pulled this away so it was no longer connecting across between the two. Um, can I... Is there a way to make this train jump? Stop, reverse, centre depot, set line. So what I'm going to do is put a quick signal on here. And that would have now allowed this train to come across and wait for the other one to come across. Okay. So we can come back to this train and we can ride on board and see how he's doing as he comes up through, through the valley. Have a nice look over here at the coal mine or whatever it is. I do like sitting and watching it from this angle. It's oddly satisfying. And we do sometimes get floaty rocks like this one over here on the left. Ooh, floaty alien rock. Oh, it's anyway, it's too noisy. But the detail that you get in this game is so nice. I do like this. We will leave him going along his route. We're going to have a look and see... Oh, he's not going very fast, is he? It's too much climbing, it's a problem. We might have to double this track up, I think, and get two trains running on it. Because, um... Yeah, it's not moving very well, It's not moving very quickly. He's already got half a load waiting over there. Okay, so this one needs a few more spanners, I think, on it. I say a few more spanners. A few more trucks to deliver the spanners. Just put two more on. Logwise, still got a bit of waiting up there. Doesn't need much more on there. Manage vehicles. Put another two on there. There we go. We have a look at these lines in here. So we can, if we pull, sorry, if we pull this up, we can see all of our lines. Oh, and we can see, if we look in here, we've got trucks lines. We can see what's making us money, what's losing us money. We've got grain losing money. That's pretty much there. Otherwise, they're all scraping by a little, little bit. Oh, if I could pause it quickly. We've got our Cleverdon oil. We need to put some trucks on there. So we can use the tankers on it. Borrow some money. We don't need too much. Because there's only a short route for them to run. Buy two of those. And I think it was... What colour is it? Cleverdon oil. We will... That's the one. It's sort of a salmon-y colour, isn't it? I think. That one there. Nice. You can unpause it, because the trucks are going to come over. Oh, he's headed off a bit too soon, but oh well. Oh, so he, that was 1.9 million from that train. Just turned it into a nice little bit of profit. Repay a couple of those. And have a look back over here and see how much oil is waiting. 140? So that's going up very quickly. I think a second train on this line is required. So I think it's time that we just go ahead and double up the track. So I'm going to start at this end. Um, train line, bit of track. And I'm going to start it from about here and just drag it along. So if you put a position next to some current existing line and pull out. You can snap it so that the train, train line runs on next to it. Or bring it in so that the two merge together. There we go. It is cheaper doing double track than um, building new tracks separately. So this bridge here cost us, I think it was 470 I think it was. If I pull it across next to it, it's only 220 cents for half the price. And we've now lost money. So we're going to have to sit here and wait. Oh, there it is. It's back. There we go. So we'll build that. So it's about half the price to build, build a double track. So we're going to borrow lots more money. 
So we can get this train line quickly built in. Oh, no, back into the train line, and off we go. We just have it just snapping up next to the current one. The nice thing is about having this double now is like it will be used for multiple multiple uses during in the, in this city. Like it can be used for ferrying passengers and other goods and cargo across. So that will come right here. We cut through next to that coal mine again. And back all the way up here. Oopsie. There we go, nearly there. I'll just delete that little bit of wood in there for that train. Oops. So that bridge there makes it quite hard to spot where I need to. No, I want it to come from down there and across to there. Cool. If we zoom, zoom in again, we're going to try and get a little crossing over here. So first thing, yeah, so in case anyone comes out from there. This might be difficult. What I'm going to do is if I delete the track from here and then if I go from over there to here so that's now got that connection done that one can connect there now what you can do in this game is make nice little crosses here so this one here is level that one just put it across and then when it so that would work so train can cross from one side to the other side. And now we've got a few signals in. We put another one here opposite where the other one is. We'll do another couple down over this end. There we go. Let's see how much waiting there. Oh a heck of a lot of waiting. That's nearly three hundred thousand waiting. This train's gonna come in. How much money is he going to make this time? Ooh, two million. So I'm going to borrow a bit more money because it's about seven to buy one of these trains. Manage vehicles. And we're going to clone him. There we are. Just had enough money. He will come out and then follow that one down. There we go. <clears throat> and now the fuel should start building up here for our other train to start taking. So here he comes. Racing in. I assume he's not really carried any fuel yet. Well, it's taking a little bit. As he just loads up over there. Gonna watch on, we'll watch on board with this train as he heads up the hill. So off we go. So it all merges back into one line up here. We need to get a second one on here probably at some point soon. Or to have other trains. It's a good place and station to get passengers out. So that might be what we do in the next episode is to bring passengers in. That'll probably need to get a bridge across there. It starts getting much busier. The nice thing with this game is unlike some to play Transport Tycoon and you can run down your own trucks on those on those um, sort of crossings. You won't hit your own trucks, you can't kill your own drivers thankfully. Across here, this is looking nice. That's a nice little line. And then into this station here. looking 
that's looking like a good line. So how is how's Rushton doing? Oh wow, he's growing. He's nearly almost at the target. So we've got plenty of well, we've got plenty of spanners coming in. The oil is being delivered, but it just needs a bit more work on it. So that's looking good. Over here, Cleverdon is growing, growing a bit. And then these ones we've just been left sort of alone with. So Budley Solston has grown a little bit. And then up here in Stapleford, yeah, it is growing. It's not going to be a huge amount in this episode, but we've not done it that much up here, so that's probably fair enough. That's probably is fair enough. And a good place for us to leave the episode too. So until next time, enjoy your weekend. Ciao.